The tenth race tonight, the Ladyship Stakes for three-year-old pacing fillies. We've got a huge field of 14. The favorites, the Remen Entry, Oriental Avenue with Ron Waples, Halcyon, last year's two-year-old champion with Ray Remen, the entry at one to five. Lady Seahawk is at 15, no smoking, and Rod Allen at nine to one. Charisma is at 80, Legacy of Love at 16, Tross Away at 35 to one, Candy Bucks at 30. Baroness Biltmore at 70, Angel Be Good 18 to one, Edith's Girl is at 30, Diana Lynn Lobel, 9 to 1 with Campbell, and the Mutual Field, Dragons Damsel and Vacaris at 80 to 1. Field of 14 in this Ladyship Stakes, they're going for a purse of more than 92,000. And uh, they're off. No smoking and Lady Seahawk leave. From the outside comes Candy Bucks on the rail Oriental Avenue as they race for the first turn. Oriental Avenue on the inside up for a short lead. Candy Bucks right there to challenge. Lady Seahawk racing third. No smoking. Three wide. Fourth. Back carries his fifth toward the inside. Angel Be Good is racing sixth on the outside now. Edith's Girl now seventh toward the rail. Charisma parked out eighth. Legacy of Love is racing in ninth. Halcyon is now tenth. Diana Lynn Lobel eleventh. Baroness Built Moore is now racing in 12th position, followed by Dragon's Damsel, and the trailer is Trossaway. The first quarter in 28 and 3. The field spread out up the back stretch. No smoking coming after Candy Bucks. Those two going at it. Angel Be Good now coming up on the outside. Toward the rail, Oriental Avenue now back racing in fourth. Charisma, fifth, moving up with cover. Lady Seahawk is sixth, and she's eased off the rail now. Vec carries is seventh toward the inside. Edith's Girl racing eighth on the outside. Legacy of Love is ninth, followed by. Halcyon, Diana Lynn Lobel, Baroness Biltmore, Dragon's Damsel, and the trailer Trossaway. The half in 56 and 4. And the field rounds the final turn. Angel Be Good, no smoking, going at it. Those two head to head. Just in behind them, Charisma on the outside. Toward the rail, Candy Bucks is right there, racing fourth. Oriental Avenue, only four and a half lengths off the lead. Vec Carries is now sixth and locked at the inside. And Lady Seahawk is forced three wide for her stretch drive. Legacy of Love is in behind a wall of horses as the field turns for home. Three quarters, one, 26 and two. No smoking, the leader as they come into the final eight. Oriental Avenue gaining ground with every stride. No smoking, hard pressed to keep the lead. Oriental Avenue now in front with the 16th to come. Baroness Biltmore and Edith Grohl closing, coming to the finish. Oriental Avenue in front, Baroness Biltmore and Edith Grohl. And it is Oriental Avenue holding on the way you want a one to five shot to win but oriental avenue does get the job done to save the chalk players this was a big underlay at one to five in the crowded field here ronnie waples does get it done though he got a clear path top of the stretch and oriental avenue will surpass the uh, very determined no smoking on the inside last year oriental avenue was 0 for 14 but she made 179 thousand this year she's turned her completely around she's on six for eight. First time ronnie's driven this one and ronnie's good when the big money's down he proves it again right here no smoking hangs tough in the middle of the track baroness built more she made some noise earlier this year at this track far outside edith's girl that's a nero daughter of preacher edith preacher edith was a nice racehorse here seven eight years ago and right now uh, ronnie waples really won this race number one oriental avenue for ron waples and ray remen 260 220 220 edith's girl 11 27 40 baroness biltmore 880 to show the 110 exact to in the 10th race forty dollars and forty cents